What are we proud about? Look at the word pride. P R I D I D E P. Pride of possession, position, and power. When because of what you possess, you become proud and pompous. Because of your position in the church, because of your position in the society, because of your position in the community, you become proud and pompous. The pride of power. You have political power, and you become proud and and I'm pompous because of the power you have in that structure, the power that God has given unto you, and you become pompous and proud. Pride of our riches, relationship, and responsibility. Riches, what God has blessed you with. Relationship, do you know who my father is? My father is the general manager. Do you know who my father is? My father is the general overseer. And because of your relationship to that general overseer, because of your closeness to that general superintendent, you become proud and arrogant. Do you know what I do in the church? Because of your relationship and because of your responsibility. Pride of responsibility. You are a title order in the church. You are a title order in the office. And you have some responsibility that you have been given. Wonderful responsibility. Wonderful opportunity. But whenever you do, you see someone do what you think you should do. Why would they give that responsibility to that other person? Don't they know I am the title order and I should be the one that should do it? The arrogance of responsibility. I, pride of intelligence, inheritance, an invention, intelligent of the student. God has blessed you with intelligent memory. And now you have the intelligent. Because of your intelligence as a student, you become proud and pompous to fellow students. Pride of inheritance. Inheritance. Oh, you know what my daddy has put in place? My daddy owns this structure. He owns that structure. And because of what you think you will possess, what you think you will inherit, you become proud and arrogant. Pride of invention. We're in the Western world. And in the Western world, we have invented Convict from a computer who have invented this gadget, this smartphone, this smart gadget, and we become arrogant and proud that we in the Western world we don't need God that much. That is the pride of invent inventions, the pride of deed of saint, duty of servant, daily strength of something. You did deed of saint as a child of God, as a good person. You are a, you are, you are a philanthropy, you are a generous person. And we thank God for that. Continue doing that good work now because you have helped brother A and you have helped sister B. But now, because of the help you have given to those people in the community, you not expect those people to act like slaves to you. You want to lord over them, you want to master over them. That is the deed of sin that has become object of pride in your life. Duty of servant because of what you do as a minister of the gospel, because of what you do as a managing director of that company, because of this, the, the duty you have been given. You've forgotten to so soon. Yeah, you are actually a servant. You are not supposed to master over the people. You are not supposed to rule over the people. You've forgotten so soon that the duty of servant can even lead to pride in our life. Daring strength of Samson. Samson was a strong man. He has killed three Philistines. He has killed the other Philistines. He has conquered many of them. And so he forgot that when he was lying on the lap of Delilah, Samson. Here you have, you have committed, you have polluted yourself. You thought that you can just shake up yourself again. As us all the time, Samson was arrogant for his power. The strength of Samson, the daring strength of Samson become, became the source of his pride and arrogance. Eventually, he was dealt with. And they pluck off his eyes. They made you to dance before their idol. That is how humiliated Samson was. I pray we will not wait for life to humiliate us in Jesus' name. E, pride of education, pride of endowment. Pride of employment, education, because you have PhD, because you have master's, it's good. What is even the purpose of your securing your PhD? You see, because you want people to call you PhD, do so and so, doctor so and so. And whenever they don't mention the PhD title, and whenever they don't mention the master's title, and when, whenever they don't mention professor so and so, you feel bad, you feel humiliated. Why? Because the purpose of your education is actually not because of knowledge, it's because of arrogance and pride. Pride of education, pride of endowment. You know what God has blessed me with? God has blessed 
bless me with a beautiful wife. And because of your beautiful wife, become arrogant because God has blessed you with an handsome husband. Because of the endowment of your husband, because of the provision and the riches of the and the, the connection that your husband has, become proud for the endowment, the pride of employment, because you are the new CEO there. And you must let everybody know by all means to subject themselves to you. The pride of employment. The Lord wants us today to acknowledge our pride and repent. Don't say, I don't have pride. Check yourself. Acknowledge your pride and repent. Number two, acknowledge your errors and restitute. Is there somebody you have offended in your arrogant behavior? Go and make a restitution to that person. Number three, acknowledge your Lord and rely on him. Acknowledge God in everything. Know that everything you have is just by his grace. It's just because it's his gift. It is just by mercy and not by merit. Don't say no. It's because I work hard enough. There are people that have worked harder than you that did not get what you have gotten. There are people that are more connected than you and they did not get what you have gotten. And so, trust in the Lord in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your, oh, your heart and lean not unto your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him as the giver of the gift. Acknowledge him as the giver of the grace. Acknowledge him as the giver of the mercy and not by merit. He said, in all your ways, now acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in your own heart. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. I pray the Lord will help us to practically, personally and perpetually overcome every element of pride in our lives and families and professions profession and ministries in Jesus name. 